uh, back to the channel, everyone. Thank you so much for being here today. Listen, I saw it, you saw it, we all saw it. Uh, we listened to some Iron Maiden in the near past, and uh, I saw that they had covered Cross-Eyed Mary from Jethro Tull. I'm interested. A lot of you guys were interested, so I want to hear it. <laughs> I want to hear how they cover this track, because I'm I am extremely curious. Uh, some of you had recommended it to me. Uh, Cobra, SYS, Letty Gee, <laughs> Zappa, Loy, 72 Bob, Samuel Caligari. Listen, there's a few of you. There's a few of you, and I'm really curious to uh, hear this cover. So let's go ahead and listen to this cover. I, let's listen. Let's, let's just go. I like how they got that riff in there. maiden hats off not literally but hats off to you because that was a great cover let me know what you guys thought of that okay i gotta mention i have to put it up i have to say it right when you're gonna do a cover you gotta do a few things you have to 
pay honor and homage to the original. You can't stray too far from the line, but you gotta blur the lines a little bit. Don't color outside, because then it just sounds like a, what are you doing? But you gotta blur the lines a little bit. You just gotta, you have to make your own identity known when you're covering a, a track. Iron Maiden. Oh man, did they do it. Like, obviously the sound is heavier. It's a little bit faster. Cross-Eyed Mary already has a little bit of an, well, not even a little bit. It has a decent amount of aggression in there, just, of course, presented in a different way. And the way that Iron Maiden, they, they, they see that aggression and they just kind of put that through their little metal machine and out spits out this track. Wonderful. Guitars are, are great, heavy, fast, pummeling, amazing. But I was most interested in Bruce's performance here, right? Obviously, Bruce is a great singer, and he has a lot of range. So is Ian Anderson. So I'm, I was curious to hear, like, how Bruce would cover the vocals from Ian. And he does a spot-on job. Because in this particular track, Ian is very, like... The one word I can think of to describe his voice is, like, spite. Like, he has, like, a spite when he's singing in this track. And Bruce finds that, that, he finds that area and he hits that really nicely. He adds, of course, his epic soaring vocals into this. So, of course, the, the sound is a lot bigger here. But he still retains that, that spite that Ian captures in, of course, the original track there. Uh, the bass playing, Steve Harris. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know I was going to mention it, but I got to mention it. If I don't mention it, someone's going to mention it in the comments. And then I wish I mentioned it. You see what I mean? Um... I mean, that's how you cover a track. That's how you cover a song. Make it your own, but still keep close to the original. I have nothing else to say. We've heard this song before. I'm not going over lyrics. Let me know what you guys thought of this cover. Was this a good cover or was it a bad cover? You let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Follow me over on Twitter. Support the channel on Patreon. Thank you so much for being here. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys. Bye.